Let me just wrap up by asking a couple of questions about gold. You know, we seem to be starved for capital these days. Um, you know, the banks are over leveraged, governments are over leveraged, but there is a lot of gold, you know, here in Europe, uh, 10,000 tons more or less. Um, you know, one way to account for a, a new level of capital and bring the overvaluation of currencies back down to a more realistic level is to take that existing gold stock and revalue it at some higher number, you know, like 5,000 or 8,000 euros per ounce. And essentially you are accounting for new capital in terms of what that accumulated gold has been. You see gold coming into the equation as Europe looks for capital to solve some of the, the debt issues that it's facing. You know, could that, for example, be a way that you recapitalize the ECB? Yes, clearly an outspoken yes, it's one way, but we need a global approach on that. That's what I think. Europe is can't do it alone. Europe won't, won't do it alone because simply then you have a political price being implemented. Um, no, that's, that won't but happen that Europe way. Europe could lead by going alone and others would have to follow, wouldn't they? Because the European economy is so big relative to global economy. Yeah. But what I think is it, 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 we will see a different approach. We will see that due to the fact that the emerging markets and central banks like PBOC, the People's Banks of China, etc., they accumulate gold in a very strong fashion, and not only them. It's generally the whole part of the emerging market countries looking into precious metals. They go back, they say, this trial period from 1971 to 2011, when no gold standard was there, simply went wrong. This is what we can say today. Mm -hmm. And um, even I think Selig of the World Bank said gold will play a major role in the future. And I'm, I totally agree on that. Gold will be money again. Whether it is for the, for the uh, normal citizen is a different question, but on central bank, on governmental basis, it will uh, get a, a st the status again within the next five to ten years. I'm very sure about that. And that will go along with a, lot, with a price which is a lot higher. I'm not willing to give any forecast on where gold or even or silver will go within the next five to ten years. But what I will say is it will be much, much stronger than it is currently. And people simply have no fantasy of where the real fair price could be. Yeah. Uh, because of that outlook, do you think that individuals should accumulate gold and silver then as a way of diversifying their portfolio and protecting? We have a kind of financial repression. The way Western governments work nowadays um, with interest rates lower than inflation rates. And one way to escape from these mechanisms is that any individual sets up his own gold and silver standard. And that's what I've been doing since 2001 and has been very wise. And I've also a recipe how to trade. If you have 100 tickets which you invest, you play with 30. You always remain long 70. So you catch the trend with 70. If it goes into a blow-up phase, you're long 70. And with a 30, you trade, you sell when it's high, rebuy when it's low. I've been doing that for the past 10 years, and I will keep on doing it for the next. And in an uncertain, unpredictable future, you know, gold is sort of a safe haven that Indeed. makes sense? It can't be printed. <clears throat> Some ETFs try to print it. And uh, I'm looking very much into the physical demand equation. And the physical demand equation tells you one story. This uh, gold and precious metals are in demand, full stop. And you can fool markets a while with paper gold or paper silver, but you can't fool it for a longer period of time. And if you look at charts over the last three, four, five years, what you can see is that the um, up moves are very strong. And back in the first part of the last decade, the um, correction phase was very steep and very prolonged. It's less steep and it's less prolonged. And it shows that our friends on the Wall Street and in the City of London and some other players are not in a very comfortable place currently. Yeah. And higher gold, higher silver over time is, is likely. And you've got to see it as an investment. Any time where we see aggressive sell-offs, I'm very happy because it offers opportunity. It's the only subsidy of uh, central bank intervention, I do accept for my own money. Yeah, good point. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, Volker, this has been a real pleasure. I've been speaking with Volker Hellmeyer of Bremen Landesbank. Thank you very much. Thank you.